While creating content that will be displayed on the front end of the Joomla site, it's important to understand how that content is organized in the back end of the content management system. You'll want to get started by first creating a category, so go to the Category Manager in the top menu or select Category Manager in the toolbar in the administration area. Categories are like folders that exist primarily in the back end of your Joomla site. You can have them appear on the front end, but they're really a way just to keep your articles organized. You'll notice that by default, as part of your sample data set, you have one uncategorized category in your site already. In a later tutorial, I'll show you how to delete any content that you don't want, so we'll leave this category here for now. To create a new category, click on the New button at the top of the page, and whenever creating a new category, article, menu item, or module, you'll want to pay attention to the asterisks. Asterisks indicate required information, and you'll notice that there's only one asterisk here. You only need a title to successfully create and save a category. For this first category, we'll add in a title, Art Gallery Tours, and as I type this in, you'll notice that there are many other options. We can use the JCE editor below to add a description for the category. We can make this a child category of another category, but we'll click on Save because the title is the only thing we really need. When I click on Save, it saves the category and gives me the green message, but it keeps the category open if I'd like to continue editing. If I click on Save and Close, I'll be returned to the Category Manager and I can see the Art Gallery Tours appear below uncategorized. Nothing's ever permanent though, and I can click on this category again if I'd like to modify it in any way. I've reopened the category and make note of the alias, which is automatically generated from the words that I add to the title. The alias can sometimes appear in the URL of a site, and these are also created for articles. If I click on Save and New, the old category is saved and closed, and a new category is open for me to create. I'll add in another title here, Art Classes, and I'll click on Save and Close. This time I'm directed back to the Category Manager again, where I can view both of the categories I've just created. The next step is to click on Articles in the side toolbar or to go up to the top menu and select Content and Article Manager. Articles are saved within categories and you can see here I have the one Getting Started article that we've mentioned a few times in this tutorial series. This came with our sample data set when we launched the site. Click on the New button to create a new article and first you'll want to pay attention to the asterisks. This article will be the new home page for my site, and so I'm going to add in the title Welcome to the Art Gallery here. And I want to start creating content in the article down below, but before I do that, I want to make sure that I save this into the Art Gallery Tours category that I just created. Next, I can start typing my content for the article directly in the back end of the Joomla site, but the inclination of many users is to actually write their content in a word processor like Microsoft Word. So I've written this content in a Microsoft Word document, but notice how I've applied formatting with Microsoft Word to this text. It is okay for me to copy this text and paste it into my Joomla site, but I don't want to paste it directly. I've copied the text and I want to click on this icon within the JCE editor to paste as plain text. This will open up a new window for me to paste that copied text in and it will remove any formatting that may have come from the word processor. That formatting can be potentially damaging to my site, but if I insert the text this way and apply formatting using the JCE editor, I know I'm safe to publish the article. I'll take a moment here just to apply some formatting to this article, but in tutorial 8 of this series, I'll go through many features of the JCE editor more thoroughly. Once text has been added and formatted here, I can click on Save at the top and I'll receive the green message letting me know the article has been successfully saved. Or if I click on Save and Close, I can see the Welcome to the Art Gallery article along with the Getting Started article in my article manager. If I return to the front end of the site and refresh the page, however, I'll see that nothing has changed. The next tutorial will show you how to link the article we just created with a single article menu item type.